Listen, I'm really gonna need you to help me out. I'm scared, so Max must be freaking out, and I just, I need her to stay as calm as possible. You got it. I'm gonna be so calm. What the hell is this gong show? Your wife and my ex-girlfriend are secret best friends, and I want to punch myself in my own face. Oh, okay. It's dramatic. Max has had an incident with her pregnancy. We find out that she has a pregnancy that's going to be very delicate. She was hospitalized for, you know, a little issue. Um, when I get there, I realize that Max has called Cynthia because she couldn't get a hold of me. My rabbit diet coke. Damn it, yes. We kind of leave my sister's room. We go to have just a little chat, you know, because I want to know what's going on. I really do want to know what's going on with this, this other woman in her life. She broke up with me a few weeks ago. She is an idiot. <sighs> she doesn't think I'm over you. That Amber's a smart one. I was so open to the idea of having a fluid character in the show. It was really important for me to ha have diversity, to have representation. Um, my character in the show happens to be, uh, I would say, bisexual. But I think in the show, for a young man or a young woman that are in the Northern Territories, they're in small towns, that they're seeing, they're seeing something that is relatable to them if they have their own questions in their head. You want to come for dinner on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday would be nice. I love that about the scene, that it was in a public place. It wasn't some clandestine thing where a kiss is stolen. This was just in a hospital, and there's absolutely no, there's just no issue with it. I go on to find my guitar player, Reggie, who I've had a relationship with in years gone past. Obviously on the road, you know, you're out with your band. It happens, trust me. This stuff goes on. It certainly went on in my life. Between the drinking, drugs, meaningless sex, there's whole months I can't remember. It was crazy times I quit drinking after that too. We're both better off for it. We have a lot more self-control now. Yeah. It was important to have this in the same episode because I wanted to show how really at the end my character is as far as how she's living her life, shitty decisions that she's making. She doesn't care about the people that she's involved with, obviously, because she's making very poor decisions when it concerns other people's feelings. Knees on my liver. Can you move to the left? No, my left. Oh, there we go. Oh, got it. Oh. Is it in yet? Oh, God, I think that's a snake. Those two scenes against each other in the same episode, I think, are so great because they say so much about where we're kind of heading to the end of the season. There's all these storylines that are converging, and you're just hoping that I make a good decision. Oh. Oh. Heavenly Father. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> 